good afternoon all the students i am mr arjun kumar sir from nimuna jain high school chandwar i work here as an assistant teacher i teach english for 9th standard 9th standard i teach english for 9th standard today today all the students are requested to open their books page number is 51 today i am going to teach you the poem of 9th standard unit number 2.4 please listen is the title of the poem of 9th standard this is a very beautiful nice poem the child requests his parents to listen to me but you do not listen it is his complaint you know when you live at home you also hope that your parents should listen to you first but parents do not pay attention to you they do not want to listen to you on the other hand they just ask you to keep quiet they order you to keep quiet don't ask me any questions or don't tell me to listen to him today such a beautiful poem we are going to learn very nice poem standard 9th subject english unit number 2.4 please listen poem the uh, students first i am reading the whole poem loudly open your books page number is 51 i think you have understood the brief idea central idea of the poem the central idea of the poem is the child always requests to his parents listen to me what i say but parents do not listen to him this is the complaint of the child now i am reading the whole poem now you please attention open your books page number 51 I am reading now. See the lines carefully and silently. See the lines. When I ask you to listen to me, and you start giving me advice, you have not done what I asked. When I ask you to listen to me, and you begin to tell me why, I shouldn't feel that way. you are trampling on my feelings when i ask you to listen to me and you feel you have to do something to solve my problem you have failed me strange that may seem listen all i ask is that you listen don't talk or do just hear me Advice is cheap. Twenty cents will get you both. Dead Abby and Billy Graham is the same newspaper, and I can do for myself. I am not helpless. Maybe discouraged and faltering, but not helpless. When you do something for me, that I can. and need to do for myself you contribute to my fear and 
inadequacy the poem is long but i am reading the whole poem for you you see the lines carefully but when you accept as a simple fact i feel what i feel no matter how irrational then i can stop trying to convince you and get about this business of understanding what's behind this irrational feeling and when that's clear the answers are obvious and i don't need a mix irrational feelings make sense when we understand what's behind them perhaps that is why prayer works sometimes for some people because god is mute and he does not give advice or try to fix things God just listens and lets you work it out for yourself. So please listen and just hear me. And if you want to talk, wait a minute for your turn, and I will listen to you. Author unknown. In this way, I read the whole poem loudly for you. Here I am going to ask one question. I am going to write one question on the blackboard also. You just make square book. First part for the classwork, second part for the homework means English workshop. Okay. Now write down whatever I am going to give in the class. You write down your classwork. Right from here, subject English, unit number two point four. Please listen. Poem. Now I have read the whole or entire poem loudly. Please listen. Now write one question in your classwork. Write one question in your classwork and read the poem silently and find out the answer of the. Question. The question is, who requests? Who requests? Whom? Who requests? Second question. Whom? Right. Write the same question in your classwork. Write the same question in your classwork. And in order to find out the answer of the question, please read the entire poem silently, not loudly, and find the answer. The poem is not difficult, easy. The lines are very really easy, so read, read the poem loudly, please. All the students are requested, advised to read the poem silently and find the answer. Okay, I hope you have taken down the question. Yes, the answer is the answer is. The child requests to his parents. The child requests to his parents to listen to him. To listen to him. Okay. I think you have also taken down the answer of that question. The child requests to his parents to listen to him. To him means to the child. Now you close your notebooks. Close your notebooks. And attention. I am going to explain the poem now. I am going to explain the poem now. Here, 
it is poem the poet used i i means here child child the child requests the in poem i means i stands for child when i ask you to listen to me the child says parents when i ask you to listen to me you start giving me advice very simple line when i request you to listen to me you start giving me advice you have not done what i asked you i asked you to listen to me but you advise me when i ask you to listen to me and you begin to tell me why again when i ask you father mother listen to me you ask me a question why i shouldn't feel that you you are trampling on the feelings he he means the child tells his parents when you do not listen me when you do not listen me you are trampling on my feelings my question is who are trampling on the child's feelings who are trampling on the child's feelings yes you remember this question or keep in your mind this question i ask while reading the poem i am going to ask some questions some simple questions only keep the questions in your mind otherwise after all i will give you all the questions which i asked during the learning teaching process i am going to write all the questions here don't worry but try to keep the questions asked by me in the class in your mind when i ask you to listen to me and you feel you have to do something when i ask you to listen to me you say that you want to do something you want to work you want to do another work but you do not pay attention to solve my problem to have failed me strain and that we see you say that you want it you want to solve your problem but you do not give me the time to listen to me this is the complaint of child against the against his parents listen all i ask is that you listen don't talk or do just hear me father mother listen please listen advice in sheet 20 cents we get you both dear both dear happy and really grand father mother you always advise me you always advise me but you don't pay attention to me advice is very cheap in the market advice is very cheap everyone gives advice i don't want advice from you from the parents i want you to listen to me carefully listen me you both in the same newspaper now there is the name of the newspapers coming in the poem dear abby and billy graham in the same these are the name of the newspapers then these advice i can get from these newspapers don't advise me i get to for myself i am not helpless the child said i am not helpless i don't want your advice who is not helpless my question is very simple question who is not helpless yes yes the child is not helpless right the child is not helpless
may be discouraged and faltering but not helpless when you do something for me that i can and need to do for myself you contribute to my fear and in adequacy when you do not listen to me it means that you are creating a fear in my mind you are creating fear in my mind you are creating in adequacy in my mind so you just listen me this is the request by the child to his parents turn the page come on page number 52 see page number 52 but when you accept as a simple fact that i feel what i feel no matter how irrational then i can stop trying to convince you to get about this business of understanding what's behind this irrational feelings very meaningful lines these are he said that why a child i feel very insulted when you do not listen to me i can stop you trying to convince you but you do not understand my feelings i understand your feelings but you do not understand my feelings so you don't listen to me listen and when that's clear the answers are obvious and i don't need advice when i am sensible when i understand each and everything at that time i do not want your advice i want you only listen to me what does the child expect expect from the parents what does the child expect from the parents question mark you keep your mind is question the child the answer is the child wants his parents to listen to the child perhaps that is why prayers were sometimes for some people because god is mute the poet has given very a special example of the god god is mute sitting at one place god does not advise when we pray the god when we pray the god the god only listens to us he only listens we just pray the god to have happiness in my life in our life he listens the god only listens so according to the child the god is great because he listens to the others who is a mute who is mute yes the god is mute mute means silent the god does not speak he is very silent mute silent mute mute silent <clears throat> the god is mute because he does not do that advice the god does not advise us so god just listens and lets you work it out of the no sense god only listens to you god does not advise so please listen just hear the child again and again requests his parents to listen to hear 
and if you want to talk with me for your turn i will listen to you if you listen to to me when your terms go comes then i will also listen to you but first first of all listen to me very simple thing of the poem of the child to listen to the to him but he expects that the all the parents should listen to their child to their children this is the central theme of the poem okay now uh, here you are going to write uh, some difficult words from the poem you yourself you yourself write the title glossary and notes glossary and notes and under this heading write any five words which you feel that these words are very difficult for me write down the words and find the meanings of the words in a good dictionary from the good dictionary okay such as the example can be given by me here i think all the words are very simple and easy but some words for example trampoline 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 write this words in your notebook in the class work find out the meanings from the good dictionary and write down here if you find similar words it will also i correct the spelling here trampoline 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 second word is faltering 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 third is third is in a b Now the first question is 
the first question is one you write instruction you write all the questions in the class work after writing all the questions you read the poem again and find the answers and write all the answers in your class work now the first question the first question is who start who start giving advice who start giving advice to the children who start giving advice to the children write this question in your class work second second question what is cheap what is cheap question mark third question third question who are pampering who are pampering who are pampering who are pampering on who are pampering on the child's feelings feelings who are pampering on the child's feelings question number 4 question number 4 who is who is mute who is mute who is mute and question number 5 last question question number 5 question number 5 just i find it
that is the english workshop okay the last i have given you five going on going on okay write all the five questions then now the last activity here i am giving you please attend the activity in your homework that is the that is the english workshop okay now this activity should be attempted in the homework because we have made two parts of your group the first part is for the class work and the second part is for the homework from textbook the title is english homework english homework english homework in where in the textbook the title is english workshop english workshop english workshop i again repeat english workshop or homework this activity should be attempted in your homework don't attempt this activity in the class work i have given you five questions in the class work i have also given you the glossary and its meanings some simple questions okay so now the activity for the homework or english workshop you have to attempt on your own you have to attend this activity on your own activity number activity 1 activity 1 in english workshop that means homework attend activity number 2 very simple apposite words activity number activity number okay very simple only there is a one activity and the second activity only two activities are for your english workshop attempt these activities in english workshop in english, in homework complete all the activities both activities are very simple in this way i have taught the poem as well as explained the activities for homework